Three days to process mm -hmm. me being pregnant. How do you feel? I'm happy. I'm excited. I'm nervous. I'm scared. <laughs> All the emotions are just there. All balled up. Yeah, I'm really excited for our future and for Jude and for us as a family. Do you know one day our babies are going to be watching this? Yeah. They're like, damn, look at that. No wonder your mom was with Penny so handsome. All right. So I haven't checked in with you guys. I'm still editing a video that was supposed to be for the eight weeks. And I don't know how I'm going to transition from that to pregnancy. I don't know how I'm going to announce it because we haven't told anybody except for my Invisalign lady. I told her the day that I found out because I just had to. <laughs> Shout out. Shout out to Jackie at Academy Dental if she ever watches this. But I wanted to show you guys something really quick. Gerda went to Target today and he got me this basket and that one there and then those snacks. Because he says he doesn't want me to go hungry. I know it's the sweetest thing. He also bought baby Jude her first pool. He had to bend the side so he can get it in the Subaru. And then he bought her her first set of blocks. I did have to bend it. You got it though. Yeah, we need a truck. Hmm. So I went to the sawmill market today with Kevin. We tried arepas for the first time. They were good. They're like gorditas for what we know. They're a lot bigger than gorditas though. And I think I prefer gorditas, but I brought Ricardo and I some pizza home from this pizza place. And we got the New Mexico white is what it's called. And then we also have some chicken air frying. And that's going to be our dinner. I think we're going to eat. I'm going to clean, get my gym stuff ready, and then maybe get on the treadmill to get more steps. Just wanted to give a quick check-in since it's been a minute. I just finished filming an update for my series that I'm doing where I haven't announced that I'm pregnant which is really hard to do because it's like I'm updating you guys on a change that I had committed to before getting pregnant. A change that I can't really pursue because I am pregnant. So I did the best that I could and I also don't want to be like very deceiving or deceitful. Which one's the right word? I don't know. I wanted to give you guys an update on the pregnancy. As of today when I'm filming this, I am five weeks and three days. Right now, I've been feeling nausea, heartburn already. I don't know how that's even happening. A lot of dizziness, which is freaking me out. Also palpitations, which is also freaking me out. I've had a little bit of what I feel might be pregnancy insomnia and a little bit of breast tenderness. I also wanna say that we're all adults here. 
whoever's watching this is probably an adult but i have been very open about how we really enjoy our intimate life and i just want to say that i'm enjoying it a lot more this pregnancy so that's a symptom as well the fatigue obviously i've had to take a lot more naps when i found out that i was officially pregnant i obviously had to reduce my caffeine intake and usually i would drink one cup of coffee one alani and then i had pre-workout in the morning so that's a lot of caffeine if you think about it so i cut out the pre-workout i cut out the coffee and i cut out the alani except i decided to make an exception for the days that i'm here alone with jude because I'm exhausted by the time that she goes to bed. Before I was pregnant, I was exhausted. So I am allowing myself half of an Alani for right now. Oh, that reminds me, another big symptom of mine has been pregnancy brain. And I feel like with Jude, I didn't have that, but I actually feel very ditzy right now, very forgetful. It's very frustrating to me, but that's a big symptom for me right now. Ricardo and I were talking about this yesterday, but this is like the loneliest part about being pregnant is not telling anybody because yes we're being cautious and we want to wait until you know doctor tells us it's all good and even then like of course there's always that concern that something could happen throughout the pregnancy cancelado but it's, it's a possibility so that's why we are waiting my biggest concerns right now are getting deeper into the pregnancy and having to care for a toddler on my own and i also have to consider now we have stairs i even think about like doing bath time by myself i think about putting jude in her crib by myself just like the heavy lifting part and yes i can ask people for help but ideally i wouldn't want to do that another big concern is just what's gonna happen after i go back to work because of childcare? it was hard enough on us already planning for Jude's childcare, so I don't know how we're going to do with two. Lastly, my other concern right now is labor because as you guys know, I had a terrible, not a terrible labor, it was more so the delivery that was very traumatic for us. Whenever Ricardo and I start thinking about that, we just choose to kind of put it off for now because we're still, we're still traumatized by it. So I worry about that. I'm terrified of sharing myself with another baby because i already feel like who i am and what i can offer isn't enough for jude so how do i make what i have to offer enough for two i have therapy in a couple of days and i Look at my belly. <laughs> no, I'm not ready for that angle. You don't have to suck in. I mean. uh -huh. I'm gonna baby, baby. Let's go look at the babies, yeah. Okay. How are you feeling? Bag mama. Um, feeling bloated. I went to the bathroom successfully, which is good, but I still feel a little gross. I think I'm gonna take some tums with me. Okay. Um but yeah, other than like stomach problems, I feel pretty normal. I do. I haven't had any nausea today really, and just sleepy. But aye, 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 aye. I recharge pretty quickly, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I it's. Uh... Okay, it's recording. <laughs> All right. So week. Six. Oh my gosh, my hair. <laughs> yeah, it looks beautiful. <laughs> First, okay, I want to ask you, you questions. Questions? Me? Yeah. I want you to uh, uh, tell me what you've experienced me go through this last week. You've been tired. You've been having the nausea. Not as bad when you were pregnant with Jude. Today was the worst of it, right? Mm -hmm. You would say? 
It just lasted longer, I feel. <clears throat> just lasted longer. But I think overall, week five to week six, Pretty it was good. Like, I think it's just you were tired, and then I had to go to work on shift and leave you here with Jude. That drains you, mm -hmm. so. So I want to try to document as much of my pregnancy this I, time. I am going to hold her accountable, so. I'm Because this is cool. I've been watching a lot of videos. <laughs> First tri trimester recaps. Not much has changed, like baby just said except for my nausea going up today was the worst only because of how long it it lasted and it's been pretty consistent throughout the day I luckily don't have any food aversions right now when I was pregnant with Jude I couldn't eat chicken eggs I know right now bacon the was what? bacon not I think bacon was one yeah right now it's the smells like the what was it the... oh his mouthwash oh yeah my mouthwash that I use <gasps> did not like that. Yeah, that was really strange because, oh, he smells so good when he gets into bed at night, you know. But for some reason, that mouthwash is just regular Listerine. I was like, Ooh. Yeah, that was not good. And then uh, butter today. Oh, yeah. And then he made some steak for us. Well done. I had well done. The smell of the butter, like, uh, what's the word that I like? Pregnancy brain. <laughs> That has been really bad this time, I feel. Yeah. I also feel really clumsy. Okay. Not like in where I'm tripping, but I'm dropping a lot of things. I'm My train of thought isn't there. The headaches, the headaches uh, uh, and the dizziness that you've been experiencing. Oh yeah, that's another thing. I've been feeling a lot of dizziness and like lightheadedness, and I feel it a lot at work. So I'm gonna bring that up with my doctor, but yeah. The butter, whenever he was cooking the butter. It was yeah. bad. Uh, I still have sleep insomnia. I ordered some pregnancy safe skincare, so maybe I'll do a video of that whenever we get that. Our appointment as of today is basically like seven, eight days away. I think she's less than six weeks and she, Natalie thinks she's more. I think I might be further along just because of the symptoms that I've been getting that the app shows that you get later on in pregnancy. Another big one is constipation. And the bloat. And the bloat, like painful bloat, which I didn't get with Jude either. And you're we, drinking a lot of water, you've been thirsty a lot too. I've been really thirsty. I've been drinking basically almost a gallon a day and it's not even hard for me when before it was hard for me just to finish one hydro flask. <laughs> So I wanted to show you a new part of my routine is to eat one of these Rego Pops. I don't think it's gonna focus, but for my nausea this early in the morning, I think eating actually makes it worse this early in the morning. So I'm gonna use these because they really helped me during my pregnancy with Jude. So we'll see if these will help me get through the first trimester again. I thought that this would be the perfect moment to give you guys an update. My skin, if you guys can see that, it's gotten really bad. I, Like I said, I bought some skincare that's pregnancy safe. So I've started using one new product. The other stuff hasn't gotten here yet, but I'm going to start rotating all that stuff in. But my skin isn't doing well. I'm getting out of breath so soon. My nausea has really picked up within the last couple of days, but I'm still super forgetful. And the reason that I remembered to do this update was because I was and my purpose, purpose. My intention was to reach again, reach again, and when I initially thought about doing it, I realized I was missing because my intention was to hold it before that. I was like, oh, but that's something that's missing. I told my mom that's missing, but then I remember this morning that I still need to handle. That's an update that you probably didn't need, but I wanted to let you know how my brain is going right now. <laughs> Hey 
Hey guys, it looks like maybe my mic wasn't connected when I was recording this clip, but the reason I was recording was because this was when one of my first cravings kicked in, and we went to the taqueria of our, our family members, and I asked for a torta and an agua de melon, but we also got a special drawing on the box from one of our family members, and the, at this point, they still had no idea that they were sending food off to pregnant me. Good morning, everybody. I wanted to show you the gym outfit because that's what I'm doing. Here is my hat. It just says, just do it. Just do it! And then my very old Beatles shirt with bleach stains. They're authentic because I use this shirt to clean, as you guys know. I'm regular. Black leggings. I feel like I'm already losing my butt, but whatever. And then this is kind of how the bump is looking like right now. If you look like this, you can see it maybe a little bit better. I know it's not actually the baby yet. It's more just the bloat, but like these are feeling a little tight. I don't know if you can tell that there's like a little indentation here because of how much tighter these are right now. Guys, I got my windows tinted. I forgot to say that. And I have never had tinted windows, so that's why it's super dark in here. But I wanted to show you what I brought with me. So I have been using the Prego Pops for my nausea. I feel like they do work. And even if it's just placebo, they technically still work because they're helping. I brought kiwi, my fair life, and then I just have water and airpods for the gym. I have lunges today, which for some reason I have this like challenge on myself that I want to be able to still lunge when I'm nine months pregnant. Every time I do lunges, I feel like I have to talk about how they went because last time I was pregnant, I had to stop lunging very early on because of my sciatic pain. Let's go to the gym. Update, I am at the gym now. When I woke up, I was at a two for nausea. Right now I'm at a four and it's been pretty consistent. It's been pretty bad. I, it's gotten to like an eight and a half to where I'm like curled over in a fetal position laying on the couch because I feel like my insides are being twisted and pulled apart and then I have like that knot of like nausea in my chest. So right now we're at a four. I don't know how it's gonna go. I'm gonna pop a prego pop in or pre preggy, whatever they're called, prego pop in right now. We will see how that goes. Wish me luck. I'm gonna stay active throughout my pregnancy as much as possible. And I mean in the gym because with Jude, I think I stopped going to the gym at four months, but I stayed active for the full nine months at home. Just obviously I feel like I put in more work at the gym. Wish me luck. Here we go. The hardest transition for training when you're pregnant is the fact that you have to switch from the Valsalva to diaphragmatic breathing because I'm so used to holding my breath on the exertion and not the opposite way. But the whole reason that you switch it around is because of your pelvic floor. You don't want to put extra pressure on your pelvic floor when you're pregnant. So I need to switch that and learn how to do it. But it's like such a mindfuck because I feel like so much less stronger. And we're in the first trimester. later it's actually exactly two hours later i didn't end up popping a preggy pop and i feel pretty good with my nausea i really feel like if i could distract myself from my nausea it's obviously not as bad but it takes some level of exertion or i feel like i don't really feel it as much during my workout it's more so at the beginning everything felt super heavy today though my hips really hurt too it's one of my first symptoms was like when my hips started hurting and i feel like a lot of women who have been pregnant before know exactly the hip pain that I'm talking about. 
So I did my full workout. I did a cool down with stretching. I've been doing lots of foam rolling and lots of core stabilization because you know, my center of gravity is gonna start changing here the further along I get. And then I finished up with 10 minutes of cardio because I'm currently reading when I do cardio. I really need a shower. That's another thing I wanted to bring up is I feel like I smell more. I feel like, first of all, I'm sweating a lot more and I also feel like I'm just more stinky. But I don't know if I, it's just because I'm more sensitive to smell. I'm gonna ask Ricardo, but I feel like he won't tell me the truth because he wouldn't want to hurt my feelings. Hi guys, so I'm getting ready for bed. Today is the day before my first OB appointment or prenatal appointment. I've been having some spotting for the last two days not really any cramping. I feel like I've been dealing with like an upset tummy for since I got pregnant basically. So I haven't really noticed anything out of the ordinary. It's only been when I wipe, no cramping. It's not bright red. I haven't passed any clots. It's barely there, but I am worried because I feel like my nausea has been less these last two days. So I just pray and hope that tomorrow when we go to our appointment, everything goes well. <sighs> but I figure I would do this update for, I don't know, I just felt like I needed to do it. Today is the day of our appointment. I am currently laying in bed. What I have been doing is I've been taking a nap when I lay Jude down for her daily nap. I'll take my lunch, that way I can sleep during my lunch, but I can't sleep. I'm exhausted. I couldn't sleep last night either, just because I'm nervous for today's appointment. Just gonna get ready and then we'll go from there. Well, there's a baby in there. Yeah, there's a little dinosaur looking creature little in there. Peanut. Unfortunately, I was measuring one week early, which also kind of makes me nervous because she said that it could mean that the baby isn't growing as it should. Would, I think you're just measuring. I think you're just early. early. Yeah. Which means I essentially have lost one week when I was like, yay, I'm more than halfway done with the first trimester, but no. They changed my due date for a week ahead. Which I don't get that because then they say you might be two weeks off of your due date. They say right, like you might be two weeks early or two weeks off. Or and with two Jude, weeks later. Jude was born four days after her due date, so yeah, we're in the Chick fil A drive thru right now and we're going home. And we're gonna have to act like we didn't just see a baby with my sister who is watching Jude right now. So, uh, Medica, now you know what we were doing <sighs> yeah. this day. to do the pregnancy announcement. So I asked them to put this message on there. For some reason, they forgot the word gone. I don't know why they put stars. Maybe they thought it was a bad word, but this was how I was planning to tell them. But in case they don't see this, that's why I added the extra stuff there. Listen, it's been rough out here. These streets ain't safe. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So as of today, based off of my last ultrasound, I am seven weeks and one day today. And from six weeks to this week, it has been really rough with nausea, stomach pain. You being super tired? Oh, I'm fatigued. Yeah. I'm having a hard time because I don't know what to eat. I'm having chicken aversion. Aversions to a lot of things, honestly. Yeah, it's like on and off. Like one day you'll like this thing and then the next day you won't like that. What's strange is I feel so hungry all of the time, but I can't eat anything because I feel like it just hurts my stomach. That I'd rather feel the hunger pain than feel the pain that comes after I eat. Um, so we're trying to figure out how to get around that because obviously it's not something that's sustainable and I need to make sure baby's getting nutrients. So that is where this bag comes in. It's full of stuff to get on the bot <laughs> from Walgreens and I haven't seen any of the stuff we bought yet so I figured we could do a little pregnancy unboxing. So first of all, we got this it was recommended by some of the girls in the facebook group for nausea what's this ginger gum nice okay oh this supposedly helps too so can they see it is it focused on, in on it or not blurring uh, yeah it's focusing on it okay so this is supposed to help magnesium also they said helps for nausea and sleep then the most important part, I've been craving this, actually. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna try to eat one of these. Hopefully, it doesn't mess me up. Kit Kat, and then some of this. I have still been drinking some energy drinks, but I drink like one third of them, and they usually help because I used to drink a lot of caffeine. So. A lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of caffeine as in one energy drink. Plus pre-workout and sometimes a cup of coffee. Pre-workout as in like... A, one, one fourth. One fourth of, of, a, a scoop. of a scoop of an actual serving size. Okay, so close it up. Nausea is at its high. Fatigue. Some blurry spells. Dizzy spells. Dizzy spells. <laughs> <laughs> Stomach cramps. Stomach cramps. They're not like period cramps, so... And I'm not bleeding. So. We're thinking they're gasp pains. Mm -hmm. but. And lots of food aversions. Okay. Yay! <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> hey guys, I'm coming to you from the editing world. I realize that I never gave an explanation as to why I went to urgent care. So basically, in the middle of the night, I had woken up with what kind of felt like a gush of water or blood. It's like when you get your period in the middle of the night. I remember getting up, I ran to the bathroom because whether it was water, discharge, or blood, I didn't think it was normal to feel such a large amount during pregnancy. So I went to the bathroom and when I wiped, my whole toilet paper was full of blood. It wasn't red, it was more like a dark red kind of brown, which was the only thing that brought me comfort because anytime that I went to the doctor and I was worried about spotting, if I had spotting, they would tell me that not to worry unless it was bright red blood. But because it was so much, I got worried. And so I decided to go to, I had scheduled myself an urgent care visit. And whenever I had put down the reason why, they called me shortly before my appointment to let me know that I couldn't go into that urgent care office because they were gonna need to do an ultrasound and they didn't have any of the equipment. So they turned it into an ER visit at the press now. They ran all kinds of tests. I was there for like half a day, it felt like. Eventually, they ended up telling me that I had, I don't know if I'm gonna pronounce this right, but it's a subcraniotic hematoma. Apparently, it's very common in pregnancy, but it didn't happen to me with jute, so I obviously was still very scared. This is another really good topic to cover as we see this a lot in the office. 
So subchorionic hemorrhage or subchorionic hematoma. So a subchorionic hematoma is bleeding between the chorion or the fetal side of the placenta and the uterus so that you get an accumulation or like a pocket of blood in between those two layers. And here's a picture to show you guys what that means. I will let you guys keep watching what happened. finished my first workout post my ER visit. I felt okay during my workout. They told me that there's nothing that I could have done to prevent it and there's nothing I could have done to cause it. So I wasn't told to restrict from working out, from having sex, anything like that. But I wanted to see how I felt in the gym. I started to feel nauseous towards the end, which is kind of my normal feelings. I am wearing a pad today though. So I guess we will see because I feel like if it does make me bleed more if activity makes me bleed more bleed more I'm gonna be very hesitant to come work out because bleeding when you're pregnant I know it can sometimes be normal I'm just really scared to make it worse so we will see how things go when I get home hello I just woke up from my midday nap I was not wearing this hat I just put it on because as you can see from here my hair is crazy there's one thing that's been going on this pregnancy that didn't happen with Jude that I haven't talked to you guys about, which is when I do like a food and it sits well with my stomach. Oh my God. It is the best food. Oh, I can't even explain. Let me, let me show you. This is a Costco pizza that a girl brought me and it is the best pizza I've ever had in, the, in my entire life. It's so good. And this has happened to me a few times, like when I really like the food. Se me saborea la boca. It's so, so good. I don't know. I just had to share that because I, I think it's weird because I didn't experience this with uh, my pregnancy with Jude. And I love it. I love feeling a positive symptom. 